wo christian practical life christo ni wa bra bo se wo bo ma e dance no ti e ofa na to so mi no no i want you to listen to the second part of the christian practical life which makes you unique crobia ye fra no antioch there was this town called antioch in the bible munim dada i know you know this message kwai be na fa so ye be nya the word christianity how did the word Christianity come about? When these messengers and also the disciples got to Antioch. All the people living in Antioch was able to tell about. Their way of speaking, how they lived, how they prayed, how they spoke, everything about them showed that indeed they were with Jesus. Set and the from Christ to If that is the case, then let us call them the disciples of God. Into Christ and Aniti ever saw soon ever yet Christianity. So therefore, that is where the Christ and also the Tien came about for us to get the Christ Tien. And into Sunday the above and yet Christianity. No, be no more. Yes, who are who no no. The sooner the bind to cow mu. A man led ye be nyai din Christo summa dia. Once obey you Christo ni no. The sooner bind bind a pie fru mu. And so if they lived their life according to how they were taught by Christ, and now we have Christianity, you also being a Christian now, what is your character and also your behavior you are diving in? What can kind Bible, our Mark, or say, Akumanimu, Anna, Adjumone, Akum, Adjamamo, and Sanum, a woody cronobo, a entarabonisher, fucking hairstyle, breaching, stars, stupidity, I look, and stupidity tense in fiba. If you read the book of Mark, the Bible clearly stated that stated that in the hearts, that is where all these wicked thoughts are. Example, that is putting on makeups, putting on nails, doing all sort of you know bad things that the Bible spoke about. It lies in the hearts, as said by Mark. Obi abaka sa messenger ana de o kasa na asa e san se me bu efu understand se nyame asam na ye de ba bon ten se ne be ye ani pamba be nya nkwa no aduane ne bo fruit asofo we gina kwa ho ka kire nkro fo se nsam aye ye ka ne de ye nim bible mu na won we nim bible mu se one say forever save i know you would complain about how i'm talking this morning but then i want to tell you that i'm very angry because if I don't stand up for the true word of God, these young pastors and also pastors who do not know their left from their right will give us bad doctrines and teachings about the Christian life that once saved is forever saved. Rapture and Nemrasu, it is certain in me and Oha all confuse you the world. Send a buyer a crab every buyer, but don't be a victim. We are in the zero hour of rapture, and so Satan is upstanding and ready to confuse people of the word of God. I want to tell you that don't be a victim. After your outward look and also your outward physique is showing about Christian life, I want to teach you about the inside of it. I see. So you buy a crystal for a crystal for we are the fountain water, the living water, the fountain breath, and sanctified power will come out from our body. And he said, after we have received Christ, something that is the fountain water will be activated in our body. John chapter seven verse thirty-eight. So therefore, when we read the book, uh, the book of John, chapter seven, verse thirty-eight, Jeremiah six seven, 
Jeremiah chapter 6, verse 7. Psalm 36, 5 to 9. Psalm 36, chapter 5 to 9. Revelation chapter 7, 17. Revelation chapter 7, 17. I am not a person who preach here. I am a man who tells you to be brave. Now I want to make two boys in our year in future. I don't want to be preaching and be giving you a lot of scriptures. I want you to also start learning as a true Christian. So what about your Christian new year? I say, in when swear on what sin I be pray my free will yam. After you have received Christ, he said that the fountain or water of fountain shall come into you. And come also, out. Shall come out of you. Yes, from your belly. Will come the out fountain from your belly. water shall come out, shall flow from your belly. This is when you've received Christ. The fountain water shall come out of your belly. And, and this fountain water that comes out from you, there is no sin or anything like death in it. Osumafu Morrison, and I'm no say. This is Messenger Morrison. I'm speaking to you. My number is 024770 One TBBACR frame. My number is 024770 If you don't understand anything, just call me. Now Ophrah on her prophetess. What she shall finger nails be? She shall try the sin in the this stupid weeks and fucking life. Say, we are prophetess of God. You are prophetess of water. You call yourself a prophetess, but then you have all these makeups. You have all these fingernails. You have all these sneakers, all these trousers. You live your life as a worldly person. You call yourself a prophetess. I want to tell you that you are not a prophetess from God, but that of Satan. Also, for what I share with you, 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 wa bra ashe wo fu meme ene musicians e hip life fu ni ntare a wo she no no na wo fra wo ho osofo jama wo nkan bible wo you call yourself a man of god but here you put on attire or trousers that are for womanizers that are for secular musicians that are for satan and you call yourself a man of god i want to ask you are you indeed a true man of god yeah I want to advise you that please repent from your bad ways. Receive Christ and receive him well. Else you will go to hell and you will regret your actions of this world. Osuma for more say me bo abo me hopa and che me share more all the social media so now I bet you whether you like it or not you are going to repent because we must go to heaven together Messenger Morrison I'm putting things together and I bet you you will see me on all social media platforms whether you like it or not you are going to repent so that we can both enjoy in heaven Mamma, your mother, my Satan, your shame, fun, cobble, and same jambi. Enough is enough. Let us not give chance for Satan to have something to stand on. Enough see, is enough. Or say, so we are Christonia and call for me be pee through my mouth. And he said that if you are a true Christian, the fountain or water of fountain shall come out from you so that others will receive that. So if a, a genuine, sanctified, pure breath is going to come out of you a Christian, then what is going to live inside you? So therefore, if a genuine, a sanctified, and also a fountain that is so pure, clean, comes out from you, I want to ask you, have you thought about what will be inside you? And when you say, so therefore, words that will come out from you are going to be words that will bring repentance and also peace unto people. The things you are going to say wouldn't be things of gossiping and backbiting, but then they are going to be words that will bring change and also repentance unto the life of people. So hatred and greediness and everybody any any or time home to woman and one summon a debby our back and then one say Christo yes or ya summon it to woman when no one summon by my name pound cause war if hatred greed lies in your heart or have a seat in your heart 
everything that comes out from you are byproduct of these two things that are in your heart. But therefore, if good things and also Jesus Christ remains in you, things that will come out from you will be things that are of peace and also repentance. Sir, who you Christonia, nyame son sumu konkroni Yesu abeti na umu ya. Ya udie ni nitu mi nitu na umu. Inti in samwa abe mo ubi Christo sume jijaya ya udie ni nitu mi nitu na umu. If you are a Christian and you have the Holy Spirit activated in you, what we call bitterness can never live in you. And this bitterness is meant to destroy your Christian practical life. But if you have Christ in you, bitterness have no stay in your heart. And then, you know, say, or say, so be a Christian near a throw any reason who homo nini mu. And so he said that if somebody is a Christian, the spirit of lies and also fear do not set in that person. So we are Christian, na se worldly spirit ni umu dia. How can you find interest in the worldly fashions and the, in the worldly things? If you are a Christian and the Holy Spirit lies in you or stays in you, how do you find the worldly thing so pleased to you if you have God in you? Ni a wea se ho hum tini mono or no no ka wea san sam ka in tare kaba stai and pabwa stai ya in sha rig ni mo or ni ye nim pao si wea se ho hum na tini mo. Those who have the worldly things in them, they are these people who have all things about worldly fashions in them. And for that matter, everything they do is about worldly lifestyle and talking about worldly fashions. On shia dinia no nene kase minia. Ya ba ya tene ya so nya mieni. Nemu one ninia dun koma. I was say a makeup skakra. I'll see it to me cripon skakra. I'll see it to me shut raya skakra. After I am kone yakwa heaven. Say any portis are no at Chelsea. We are say Jezebel home and a tiny portis. When two worldly people meet, they never talk about how to please God, but then they dive into ways and also ideas that will make them do things that are of Jezebel and also explore themselves to things of the world. When you are the Bakwa and I'm a transia, Emma Miss Sunday be an American Jose. So obi ba Christ o mu ano wa ya abode afofro. Wa ye onyame abode na mmo ye wiase abode abio. Na se wa be ye Christ ni na wote asore mu. Na everything that burns are there there wo kire mu de bia. E ye worldly thing che se enyama wo hu o wiase ne nko na there wo mu a. E de man fro ho se wo ye Christ ni simple. For years, I've been crying over this thing because if you receive Christ, you become a new creature. But here in the case, once you call yourself a Christian, anything that burns in you are things of the world. Then, are you true a Christian? Christo ni pa ojene trailers. Christo ni pa ojene nika. Christo ni pa ojene so obe chure ne ninto. Christo ni ojene so ade a boy, betu ni trim. Christo ni ojene so obe yen ho se wiasi yi. Roman chapter 12, verse 1 and 2. Ose mamu nye mo hose viasi. A true Christian, so you indeed think about everything that is about the world. You think about trousers. You think about mini skirts. You think about shorts. You think about things that are from the world. And so Romans chapter 12, verse 1 and 2 says that we should exhibit or we should show ourselves that indeed we are true Christians. Christo ti umu. Ne hon hom ti umu. Na wuyo kristo ni. A wu jidi sa obe kwa heaven. And yet ye Bible se hon hom ma eti ni mpe mono. And no ene me ni mpa kandi ya oye day. Ok. Hon hom ma eti ni mpe mono. And ene me ni mpa yedi ya oye day. Oye. Are you a Christian? Does the Holy Spirit stay in you? Then I want to tell you that what stays in you makes you do what you are doing. So therefore, anything that you are doing today, I want to ask you, is it a product of Christ or is a product of Satan? One who say fashion spirit in it. So you, you always want to look good. One who say we are say have a fadia in it. And today be open say we look good. Have you realized that the spirit of fashion lies in you? So therefore, you always look forward to be looking good. Christians 
na mum na ntare mpoboa ye ntwi pons kakra ye nka lipstick wo pesa wo shawo sakra kala meboa you do not even think about how to bring lost souls unto the kingdom of god but then you always think about how to look good by your outlook uh, your outward look and also how to put on things that are worldly things don't worry wait for me senior satan wa fix worldly things will mu biano very soon the spirit of god is going to use me to pull it out for you to go to heaven you have nothing to worry about it doesn't matter how satan has fixed the spirit of worldly things into you i am messenger morrison as time goes on i will teach you and that spirit will leave you and you'll be free call or whatsapp 02477-01364 and receive more bless you call me on 02477-01364 to receive more on this sermon thank you